In this video, three dishes in Myanmar might be unfamiliar the way they are eaten from pure taste. That's good. The highlight. Wow. A popular Burmese food, all to suit the loneliness of this cold-hearted monsoon. Which one can you handle? Which one is your favorite? Find out at the end of this video. A rainy day, and I have been craving hot pot in this cool weather. So I came to Fufu for the beef set with veggies, and of course, we can't forget the pork mushroom balls and the pork mushroom bamboo stick. Let's see. Starting with the beef, put it in there. Got my pork mushroom balls, minced pork mushroom. Adding in the veggies now. Pop up restaurants in Myanmar are always filled, always filled with people. I mean, if you look at it right now, every single table is filled, and there are even people waiting outside. That's how much pop up is popular in this country. You can order individually as you like. There are also set menus, and there is even mala shango in like most pop up restaurants, including this one. Got my meat and my veggies. Dip into the sauce I mix, and then wow, so delicious. If you eat hot pot, always, always order the pork mushroom bowl. This is the reason I came to eat hot pot. Get that. Some people think that when you're eating hot pot, it's gonna be too hot. It's not. They have air conditioning enough to actually cool you down. So don't worry about that. If you didn't already know, people here are obsessed with mala flavor things. Since I've already had mala hot pot, this time we're going for dry mala. Let's go eat mala chango. arrived at my favorite Malachanko shop and you have to go over there and get the meat and vegetables that you want then they will weigh it and tell you how much it will cost. This is what I got. They put the vegetable in this little package and it varies from 700 to 1000. You get the noodles here. Of course, you can't forget the pork mushroom ball. All right, to those who don't know yet, introducing mala shango. So basically, you choose the ingredients and toppings you want and they will cook it for you and they will put a special mala sauce and then you know mix it all together and hence, mala shango. And good timing, it's raining super hard right now. The best weather to eat, hot and spicy, that will mud your tongue. Let's see. I give you a plate, you put in your noodles and your veggies and also your meatballs. That's it. Mm. That's good. A meatball. Wow. This shop can really cook to get that intense mala flavor, hence which is why I will always come here and when you put in a lot of the vegetables, they can soak up a lot of the flavor so when you eat it, 
you, it kind of like blows out in your mouth. Mm. Now, let's eat it all together. Got my meat, my veggie, and the noodles. Make sure to mix it a bit once in a while because in the bottom there's a lot of that stuff so you have to mix it well to get all that flavor. Sausage. Mm, it has cheese inside it. That's so good. This little shop is also like a budget option so you can get this much food with only a little bit over like 10 out of Do you guys know what it is? It is a Chinese fish case cheese ball. When you bite it, there's some cheese inside. Mmm, mmm, wow, would you look at that? It is creamy, it is cheesy, love it. Mala Shango is quite the flavor bomb. It's spicy, it's tangy, it's also sweet from all the vegetables and the meat, and it also has that nutty flavor from the peanuts. The main ingredient in Mala Shango is definitely the mala sauce. That is what brings together the whole dish. That is what makes the other ingredients brings out the flavor. And this shot, mala sauce, is absolutely outstanding. This spice might not be for people with sweet tooth. It is spicy, it is tangy, it's really like the next food we're going to eat might actually be for the people with sweet tooth. The next item we're eating today is called J.O. It's like a Burmese noodle soup. This shop we're at is called Wine Gege O and this branch has been open for like over, over 30 years already. It's one of the popular branches with many, many branches scattered throughout the country. What we have today is called J.O. which is a soup and the next is a dry version, kind of like a garlic noodle salad. In J.O. they have the vermicelli noodles and a lot of pork, these are pork balls and you know pork meatballs. They also gave you this tofu here and they have the pork ovo and of course the little quail egg. Let's start with the soup. How you eat it is pretty simple. Just take a little bit of the soup and get your vermicelli noodle in there. Get your veggies in and the meat. It's actually supposed to rain but it's just cloudy now so just imagine this raining super hot and now you're eating this hot delicious soup. Cheers! Mm. That, is, that is really good. Waigigyo is famous not just this soup, it's because of the sauce that they have, which are delicious. They give two types of sauce and this is this is the main sauce. And this is this is more like a spice sauce, it's a little sour and a little spicy. You can just add this is like optional, you can add it if you want. So Get that lot of sauce in there and then you eat it. Mm. This sauce, this sauce is really the highlight. Oh. Mm. Okay, so now we shall now eat the dry noodle. Give it a little good mix. First, take the meat and dip it in that sauce, a lot of that sauce, and eat it together with the veggies and the dry noodle. Mm. Wow, that is good. Starting with the vermicelli noodle, it is soft but still a little chewy at the same time and it kind of looks dry but it's just like silky in its way and also delicious and flavorful and also the meat. This meat is so flavorful on its own. Okay, in Jiu, if you order the pork, they also include the pork ovo which is kind of like interesting. 
this also like tender and chewy. It doesn't like it doesn't have that porky smell anymore. It's just delicious. Mm. So between these two, if I have to choose one, I would choose the dry noodle. It's because I'm a dry noodle fan, but the soup for people who like to drink soup, I would definitely recommend the soup version. It's a soup, it's flavorful, it's sweet, it's free from all the uh, pork broth flavor. This used to be more overpowering back in the days, but now they maybe they put less MSG in it, so this one is just like sweet and a bit subtly in your mouth. But if you order the dry noodle, they also give you a soup on the side, so you can drink it if you want. Mm. There are a bunch of other Wankikyu branches and the reason I came to this branch is definitely for this view. I mean, look at it. How beautiful is that? These are the three rainy day comfort foods that are comfortable to your soul and which are more on the spicy or hotter side because spicy hot soupy stuff is what really goes with the rainy weather. These three are really popular in Myanmar and not even on just a rainy day, it's popular on a regular basis. They're like food and potato soup. Hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching. Like and subscribe for support. I'll see you again. Bye.